Hey guys, welcome back to Sponge's Tech Tips. I'm Sponge. You guys get to look at my ugly mug for a minute. Up here in Woodenville, Washington again. Uh, absolutely beautiful day. I say that often, which is good, because it's pretty nasty. Sometimes I don't record when it's nasty out, so you're not going to hear it that often, but sometimes I have to. Uh, working on a Volkswagen EOS today. Pretty little car. Sold this to the customer. And uh, he brought it back saying that his top wasn't working. It wasn't retracting. So did a little investigating. Figured out what the problem was. Uh, first and foremost, let's... Let's check out our manufacturer date. I like to do that since I got called out a while back. Let's see, we got 04 of 07. So this is a, a April of 07. So this is going to be a 07 in similar models. So basically what the customer was, well, the customer just reported nothing was, the top wasn't going down. And after I investigated, I found that the sunroof was working. So here's our controller here. So with sunroof raises to the vent position. It also retracts back fine. And closes fine. The windows are operating. I won't go through all of them, but uh, all of the windows Are operating fine. Let's put this back one up. There we go. Uh, but what isn't happening is the sunroof is not going down. Uh, the one thing it will do, I should show, uh, just for the sake. So let's say all the windows are down. Uh, which, if you guys have one of these and you know the operation, the windows go up and down with the top. Uh, so. What will happen is if you try to uh, close the sun or the, the roof, the windows do go up. So you notice that they went up when I pulled the roof. But now if I want them to go down, nothing. So I started doing a little investigating um, <clears throat> inside the trunk. I did some disassembly. Uh, just because I was checking the hydraulic pump because that seems to be one of the main issues in this. Um, this one does look like it has a little corrosion. Uh, I guess real quick we should go across to, to remove this for access to your pump if you're getting at it. Uh, there's a carpet that needs to be removed. It's right there. It just pulls straight out. And then... Um, here, let's pop this. Let's pop your cover. So your spare tires here. There's a, a dial on the top. That's down there. Uh, once you remove those, then you take out this plastic plate here. There is two little clips in the center that you have to um, pull, up, pull out the middle so the rest of the clip will come off. Once you get those clips, you just kind of have to force it from underneath the weather seal. Um, and then to take the cover off of the hydraulic pump, if it is still original, you have to take the spare tire out and then there's a bracket. Sorry, I didn't. Here, I, I guess we can do this. Let's just, it looks something like this. It's got a foam insulating cover and then you've got this plastic. Let's see. Okay. Kind of a goofy little. There we go. All right, so you've got you've got this foam kind of cover for it, and then this plastic cover. It's got two plastic nuts. Mine were just hand tight. I didn't even need a uh, a wrench for it. I'm assuming they're 10 millimeter, but I literally just unscrewed them with my hand. Once those are unscrewed, you pull this plastic cover over, and it will pop off, which it did. You can remove it. And then you just take the foam cover off. That gives you access to your pump if you need to do any maintenance to that. So, But um, 
after I'd gone that far, I decided to uh, check what what is typically a main problem in these in other vehicles. I, in fact, I was working on a Mercedes SL. 500 yesterday and this the, that's one of the main culprits but your cargo cover so right out of the gate if, if you're new to your car you've never operated the top before this cargo cover has to be in the down position like so okay if it's not down your sunroofs or i'm sorry your your convertible top's not gonna work so in this particular case it was down and if you look right here, this is on the, the driver's side, left side for US, if, if you're watching this. There's a switch right here. If you guys can see that, it's not on the other side. The other side doesn't have one. And this is, a, this is just a sensor that when this clicks down into place, it pushes on this little sensor. Now, the irony is, is in... in this case I had this down the sunroof wasn't do I'm sorry the the hard top wasn't retracting and I started thinking maybe this just is not hitting the sensor hard enough so what I did I took a flathead screwdriver just a small one and I just pushed it in between that button you can see I've got it, and what it did is it just pushed the button in a little bit further, okay? So, um, this was part of my testing process. I was trying to see if maybe that wasn't getting contact. So now, with that screwdriver in, we'll shut the trunk. Let's go back inside. And... Voila, everything's working. Go through the full motion here. Trunk lid's gonna go back down. I guess technically it's a boot at this point. And then the windows will go up last. And it is finished. So. In this particular case, what ended up being the culprit, I guess I should close it again, but we'll go through the motions the other way. Top's going back up. Everything's actually working real well, and, and I did check the fluid while I was in there. The fluid was a tiny bit high, but uh, not detrimental to the operation of it. windows go all the way up and she is all back together all right so in this particular case and what may be the case with yours uh, check that switch so not only you not only check to make sure your cargo cover is if, if you're sure you do that all the time um, you may be getting not enough contact or or lack of contact um, I'm not sure whether it's an open position or a closed position, but what I can tell you is the button is, or the, the, the switch in there is not either activating or deactivating because this, the gap in between is too big. It, this doesn't look worn, so I'd say the switch is probably worn down. So, a uh, couple ways to fix this. If you want to spend the money, you can purchase a new switch. Uh, from Volkswagen It's got probably going to be this entire unit coming together. I haven't looked into it The other thing you could do too is if you wanted to just add some sort of meat here, you know, maybe a, a Few layers of black electrical tape. I mean, I hate to I hate to cheapen out and tell you To not fix it the right way, but at the same time if, if you were to run, you know, 10, 10 layers of black electrical tape along the edge of this uh, so that way when it does close it just pushes that a little bit further um, that may fix your problem save you the money save you the time worst case scenario try this uh, screwdriver trick to see if that assists you in uh, 
remedying the problem or at least troubleshooting and finding out if, if what's going on in your EOS is the same thing that's happening in this EOS. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helps you out. Uh, I love doing these videos for you, so be sure to hit the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can see if you look around, uh, I've got a ton of cars that I work on here, and every day is something different. Um, I'm learning every day. I've, I'm pretty fortunate that I get to learn all this neat stuff, and, and now I just love sharing it with you guys. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave a comment uh, if I helped you at all or if you have any advice or uh, any special requests, let me know. Uh, I think we're done on this one. Uh, we'll let the customer know that that's the problem and he'll decide whether he wants to put the Band-Aid repair on it or to buy a new part. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one.